Hello everyone, so I have received this question countless times and it seems to be a huge mystery for everyone, it was including me which is how to get Reshade and ENB to run together in GTA 5 now many people have problems running those together because they seem to crash when you don't load them in the right order before I start the tutorial I would like to thank Mr. Stevens and Marty McFly for the tips and the instructions on how to get it to run so first thing you'll need to do is go to the Grand Theft Auto directory and make sure all of the EXEs are set to run as administrator so it doesn't conflict with any Windows or directory permissions when you're running the game. So let's go ahead and do that for all of the four executable files on the game directory. Okay, after that's done, you will need to have the reshade setup, which can be grabbed from the reshade website itself and the EMB series for GTA 5. It should work with any version and any preset as long as it is ENB series but for this test here I'm using V0387 which is the la latest one currently. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do we're gonna open the reshade setup and instead of right away clicking on the game selection to install reshade we're gonna hold control on our keyboard and then click the button this will make it so the setup extracts reshade DLLs to the directory the setup executable is located so here you can see it created four files two of those which are the DLLs itself and the JSON files for Vulkan games so we're gonna delete those two 32 DLL files and the JSON file for the 64 version since we don't need those for GTA 5. Next thing we're gonna do after it completes deleting is uh, we're gonna get the 64-bit DLL file and rename it to dxgi.dll then we gotta move that file to the GTA 5 directory as you can see this is where my GTA 5 is located uh, this is also the Steam version but it should work with the Rockstar launcher version just fine and after that's done what you're gonna need to do is extract ENB itself to the game directory so let's go ahead and do that just drag and drop and before running Steam and the game itself you will go to enblocal.ini and you'll see the proxy section here which has those options by default what you're going to do is you will change the enable proxy library value to true so it loads a DLL and initialize proxy functions to false so it doesn't load any extra calls from the other DLLs and as proxy library you're going to set it up for ENB itself now I'm not exactly sure why you gotta do this but apparently if you hook it to reshade some of the calls will probably break the wrapping and make the game crash but if you load ENB then it loads reshade and then ENB again it seems like something on the order changes and the calls don't overlap themselves and don't crash the game I am not 100% sure what that ha why that happens or what is the reason but it worked here so I'll be doing that now before running the game to test what you're gonna need to do is go on your steam shortcut or whatever and set it to also run as administrator to prevent any sort of permission issues now this next step here might take a bit of time but 
what we're going to do is basically load the game to show that it's indeed working. Note that this should also work with any sort of preset or any sort of configuration or graphical mod which uses ENB and Reshade together. But for that you might need to change some of the installation steps like taking the DLL and any files from the graphical mod you're trying to install instead of the setup checking the directories yourself, changing reshade configurations, which is not what I'm going to show on this small tutorial video. So, when the game loads, you should see that clearly both reshade and PMB are running and have been loaded together. So, to show you that it's indeed working, those errors aren't related to any of my steps, so here you here you go and that's basically it happy modding <laughs>